Hey everyone, Ozzy Viking here for another video, and I've just come back from Rotting Christ. Now, I know I always drink something, but oh my god, tonight was insane. One, it was hot as hell. I was wearing that, and it's still hot as hell. And there was a lot of craziness in the mosh. Didn't really go in the mosh, but it's, you know, I was at the front as usual, so obviously push forward, but headbanging all the way. Crazy stuff, pumping it, just ah, I love. It. I think I even got. Hang on, was there a bruise? I think there's like a bruise there or something. I don't know. They're, they're, I'm pretty sure I got a few bruises on me. My back's killing me. My legs are killing me. You know, you had a good time at a gig when everything hurts, and I mean everything. Oh, oh. Usually, I can easily go in the pit, take some fun, go home. Oh no. Oh no. I'll be stretching it tonight, tomorrow, whatever, it's the next day, but whatever. I'll be stretching it today, working out, getting good, rah, rah, so, yeah. Right, so, first up, let's talk about the the bands, because I know I, I last time I talked about the different bands, and people seem to like that. So I've got photos of them, which I'll put up now, obviously, rah, rah. First up, we had a black metal band, which I actually don't know the name of. They were really good though. Other than like the feedback thing they did, they did like a feedback loop where even with earplugs in, I feels like, are my earplugs like, is there something wrong? Are they like powered off? They're not even powered earphone, like earplugs. They just, I'm like, is there something wrong? Even my mates were like, yeah, it felt like there was something wrong. Like, what? But other than that, they were great. They were good black metal, very traditional black metal. Doesn't matter. They sounded great. Had a good vibe to it, a good groove to it. If, if you like black metal, these guys were great. They had, like, flags and stuff, which I thought was cool. Um, especially for, like, one of the first bands, and a low-tier-ish band, if you call it that. They did a good job. It was, like, three of them. Drummer, guitarist, and, like, guitar bassist. No, bassist, lead singer. Good shit. Good stuff. Really enjoyed it. Next up was Freedom of Fear, which was <laughs> very interesting. So, they were more of a, like, a melodic, symphonic, black metal... Um, where the lead singer was very interesting. She, like, covered her face with her hair, which looked very, like, The Ring, the woman from The Ring, or Cousin It from Adam's Family, whatever you like. And she, like, had the long fingernails, which was very Evil Dead, and she was, like, <laughs> like, moving around and, like, trying to climb on things. And she was weird as hell. Like, I'm not gonna lie. She was, God, God, she was weird as fuck. But she sold it. That weird as fuck sold the entire thing, and I loved it. They had a rawness to it. They had a symphonic to it. I thought they did a fantastic job overall with what they did. No issues. Honestly, I was very surprised. Um, definitely a worthy band to have. Check them out. Check all these guys out. They did like just everything just rock, it rolled, it flowed really well. And then like the more symphonic stuff came in, you were like, it's weird. You sort of expected it the way they were like dressed and acting, like, you expected it, but you weren't too sure, and there were elements, it wasn't full-blown, it wasn't really that, like, she didn't go full-blown angelic vocals, her vocals were demotic, squealing, piggish, like, you know, like, it was really good, really good, um, I was, I mean, yeah, you couldn't see her face, which is a bit confusing, but honestly, fantastic stuff, really enjoyed them. Then we got into Rotting Christ, which was amazing across the board they played stuff from their newer album um like father like son which as soon as i hear i'm like yelling out like father like son Fuck yeah it was so good uh they played some stuff from pretty much not all their albums but like from their 20 no 2009 album or 2008 album all the way to today, like their newest album coming out, they played a song for or a few songs from each single one, and then a few from the earlier ones. Not all of them, mind you, but they did a fantastic job. I was very, very impressed with how they like kind of made it work. Like it was good. They played just over an hour and twenty minutes, probably an hour and a half, give or take. Which is probably why um, the meet and greet they were supposed to do because um, during the entire thing they had a meet and greet, like, they're like, oh yeah, just so you know, after every gig, we'll do a free meet and greet, so obviously, me, some guys were staying back, hoping to meet them, and stuff, but, 
they did just play like an hour and a half set and probably have to go to the next part of their tour tomorrow. So we're kind of like, yeah, they're probably not going to come. And then it's the girls like, yeah, they're not guys. I'm sorry. They're not going to come. So we're like, oh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Which kind of sucked. Cause, um, when they announced this tour, not only did that come up, that was on their thing saying rotting Christ, they'll do meet and greets for free. We were supposed to get jungle rock. But then, like, in small little writing, they, like, each dash, Jungle Rot won't be there. They did, like, the first half of the tour, like, the main cities, and they didn't, they forgot us. So that really sucked, because I was really in hoping to, like, see Jungle Rot live, because I love Jungle Rot. That's, that's a fantastic death metal band that I highly recommend. Um, sorry, I'm scratching, because my itchy tattoo, um, that's healed, but it's just scratching because of other stuff. Um, yeah. So... But that kind of sucked, because I was really, really into it, and I really wanted to um, see Jungle Rock, and that kind of sucked that we didn't get to see them. But hey, I saved money, because, well, merch, which we're going to get into, and then I'll go back into how good Rotting Christ was, because they have some interesting merch. Some things they had, and some things I was very surprised about. So first of all, no hats. No hats, no stubby holders, no beanies, no nothing like that, which is fair. What they did have was a Rotting Christ pin, which I thought was really cool. Actually, really, really nice. Um, gonna put it somewhere. I don't know if I'm, I, I probably will put it on my jacket, but I'm not sure. But I thought that looked amazing. I don't, weirdly enough, no, um, no Rotting Christ patches, but I have a Rotting Christ patch on my battle jacket, so I'm like, eh, doesn't matter. Next up. A flag. They had a flag, and obviously I'm like, I'm grabbing the flag, because I have a lot of room now to put the flag up, so. And I'm going to probably put it up after this video, like my last one, like my suffocation one, so. When it wants to open. You know what? Screw it, I'm just going to use this. God damn, easy to open my ass. Put my foot up, god damn. Got it. Ooh, she nice. She's, uh... I've got a few like that, actually. Oh, she's a big one. She's, she's similar um, to my um, behemoth one in terms of, like, posture. So that's it. Which is nice. That's actually on their t-shirt. Which is coming up next. So, yeah, that's going up. Like, I didn't... I opened it for a reason, so... It's going up. So then we get to the t-shirts, which were, well, there was this one, which is the short sleeve. Now, the reason I got the short sleeve one was because, well, looks nice. And then the backs got their tour, which I thought was really good. Thing is, the front end, they had a long sleeve for the same price, but I already bought the long sleeve. So that long sleeve... I bought ages ago, like last year, um, and it's literally, the front bit is literally on that, like, it's it's just that, the only difference is that this has the, the tour, the other one didn't, so that's why I only bought the short one, because I was like, it's the only tour one they had, which was annoying, it was the only tour one they had, and then this was the first one I bought, because this one I thought was the best one, where it was like... Well, the flag. It's it's the flag's image, which I thought was nice. And then the back's just that, which I thought was cool. Saying that they've been around since 1988. So, yeah. Good stuff there. Wearing that a lot. Good stuff. I uh, I came back to it, because I bought my I bought like a t-shirt. Um, I didn't buy the other one that I already had, the long sleeve. But I was like, mm, maybe I'll see. I was umming and arming. Um, got that. Okay, got everything else, and then I was like, ah, screw it, I'll come and get the shirt. When I got the shirt, they had brought out vinyl, a vinyl pressing, and I thought, all right, I'll get that too, because um, out of all the shirts, wise, those two were the best. They had one more, which had was just like Greek on it. That was it. Just a bit of Greek and everything was like plain and I think a bit boring. I'm not the sort of person that likes plain and I'm not a plain person. That's not me. That's not who I am. So I didn't really like it. 
Funny enough, there was a lot of Greeks that actually bought the plane shirt, which I thought was quite funny. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, when I was in the marsh, but there was a lot of Greeks trying to get to the front, trying to, like, get their hands and stuff and give them a high five near the end as well. So that was interesting. And, hey, good on them. The these guys are literally one of the best Greek bands ever made, ever. Like, Running Christ, 10 out of 10 Greek band, 10 out of 10 black metal band, extreme black metal, melodic black metal, whatever you want to call them, genre. They are amazing at it, 10 out of 10. But anyway... That is that, and it's a repress of their Dawn of the Inculus, and it's got Satanus de Te Diem, um, which is new layout, new linear notes, and it's a first pressing with a thousand copies worldwide. Pretty cheap too. Like this, this sort of thing would easily cost you a hundred bucks, easily, and it didn't. It was like I'm not going to say how much, but it was a lot cheaper than you thought it would be for a first pressing. And only like a thousand copies. So, which they obviously knew. They knew. They absolutely knew. But yeah, good stuff. You know, I really like the pin though. More bands need to sell more pins, just not for that price. But I was like, ah, screw up. This was actually the first time Rotting Christ has ever been to Adelaide, South Australia, at least in terms of playing a gig there. I don't know if they've ever been there like on a travels, but. Yeah, first time they ever came, and um, I was like, really? Out of all the time you've been out there, this is the first time you've always skipped Adelaide? Shocker. But like, damn, man. I, I hope they enjoyed it. I think they did. I think they did. It was not It was a Wednesday night. There wasn't that many people. There was a lot of people. There were people in the mosh pits. There were people enjoying themselves. Like, it was crazy. Don't get me wrong. Um, there was a lot of cool stuff. It was fun and funny stuff, too. Mosh pits going. Somebody, they tried to get somebody on them to, get, like, fly them over. <laughs> literally, I think I've got a bit of a video of it where he, he's up and I'm like, oh, he's up, alright, I better take my phone down and help him out, and then he just drops to the ground, I'm like, alright, maybe not <laughs> stuff like that, there was a lot of that but look, it's a Wednesday certain bands do get the crowd going um later on in the night, Rod and Christ really pushed it everybody went crazy, they had a lot of good good songs, um, I didn't get too many songs, because I actually was really into it, I do love Rotting Christ, and they had a lot of songs where I'm just like, yeah, ow, my neck still hurts doing that, oh. oh, but yeah, I should you not, they did a good thing, they did great, and they were insane, beautiful, fantastic, crazy, good stuff, 10 out of 10, like, look, if Rotting Christ ever comes to you, Go see them. I mean, I know I say that with every band, but definitely go see them. And if you get to see them with Jungle Rot, go see them with Jungle Rot. Hopefully I can come back and do a video about me talking about Jungle Rot because I was very excited because I did want to see Jungle Rot. Like, you know, if you don't count the Jungle Rot not being there and, and like, it was like, I don't know if it was a last minute thing because I don't remember seeing it on the first bit where they said it, they're not going to be there, but I could have missed it because I, it was all plastered. Rod and Christ, Jungle Rot, Adelaide, oh, but whatever. And the no meet and greet. I would have loved to get the vinyl signed and stuff. That would have been pretty cool. But look, what, what, what can you do? Can't win. Doesn't matter. Still had a good time. Still got to see Rotting Christ. And on their first Adelaide tour, 100%. And actually, probably the last band I'm going to see for a while. I mean, next up, I've got Municipal Waste. I'm pretty sure. Tenacious D. High Long. Um, Triumph of Death. I think that was it. Um and a few more, so I've got some good ones, but that's like Iron Maiden as well, but that's later in the year, um, Credit Filth, we've gone to that as well, so yeah, a lot more coming, but later on in a couple months, so I got time to chill, breathe, save some money up, <laughs> although to be fair, I work so much, all my money goes into these gigs, you know, I don't go shopping for clothes anymore at clothes shops, I do shopping at my metal gigs, because to be fair, sometimes they are cheaper than most clothes shops that sell metal stuff, <laughs> which is... I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Highly recommend it, though. But yeah, Ron and Christ were amazing. They had a powerful presence. Their music sounded great, really good. Thumb was distorted, but we were in a smaller area. It was the line arts, which is good. Definitely better quality in terms of their audio. But overall, I got to say, it was mixed. Like, the first half, they did fantastic, and everything sounded perfect. Perfect perfect in every little detail amazing last half i don't know what happened maybe it was changings maybe there were some different things going on i don't know but the first half was magical could have also been that my earplugs were fiddling around and going crazy i actually had to get my earplug out with a key 
because I got stuck in there, so I don't know. But they did good, and I swear, seeing three, four men wearing leather pants, of all things, rocking out in leather pants, because I was like, I need to get this shot, and um, like they, they're like messing around and stuff, having fun, like they're rocking it. Um, one of the guys had a um, Screaming with Vengeance tattoo, Judas Priest, which I thought was great. I gave it a thumbs up for that. Don't know if you saw it, but still. But yeah, they were all having fun. They're all great. They all played the banger songs that I love. You know, they played every song that I actually wanted to hear pretty much. You know, from The Raven to like Father Like Son to pretty much everything from the last, the, like from, yeah, 2009 to now. And then a few of the older ones. I couldn't name you all their albums because their albums are like Latin or something. Like there's uh, Inner Ex Audio or it's like The Heretic. No, I can name The Heretic. Because <laughs> that one's so easy to remember, I swear. <laughs> but yeah, wow, loved it. They had some good merch, you know. Um, good people there, good vibe. Loved it. No issues whatsoever, not really. But yeah, other bands were great. They were great. Go see them. Go see all these bands. Um, hopefully I can put up the Black Metal Band. I'm really not sure who they were, but they were pretty great as well. Um, but yeah. I haven't got, like I said, I haven't got any recordings of like two songs maybe, so I'll put them, obviously I had some for out, but yeah. Good time, rock and roll. This is Aussie Viking out and I shall see you on Valhalla. Bye. <laughs>